Isaiah Saldivar recently had this to say about the doctrine surrounding eternal security, or otherwise known as once saved, always saved. Okay, today we're going to talk about the dangers ooh, of once saved, always saved doctrine. I do believe there are some dangers involved when you teach eternal security or once saved, always saved. And I'm going to give you seven of those dangers in this quick video. So are these callouts that Isaiah Saldivar is going to make against those who hold to this doctrine going to be accurate and biblical? Or is Isaiah Saldivar actually in grave error with this? Now, with that being said, here is the first one that Isaiah Saldivar wants to call out. Number one is it, co it creates complacency. The doctrine of once saved, always saved can lead to complacency and make people lack vigilance in their faith. Because once you're saved, now you can kind of just live how you want and do what you want. And I'm not trying to create a straw man. I really do believe it creates a complacency. So yes, indeed, Isaiah is creating a straw man or trying to um, nobody who holds to this doctrine believes that once you're saved, you can just kind of freely go on and do whatever you want because you're saved and you can't lose your salvation. That is not the mind or belief of somebody who has truly been born again. Uh, number two is it disregards the importance of repentance. It basically says like, you don't need to continue to repent once you've turned from sin. Now we know that repentance is an ongoing work. It's necessary to continue that right relationship with God. If you sin, if you do something you shouldn't have done, you need to repent. You need to turn from that sin. Again, this is foolishness from Isaiah. Um, nobody who holds to this doctrine believes that repentance all of a sudden does not happen. Guys, we fall short in sin every day, sadly. And we do need to confess our sins and repent to the Lord for those sins and turn from those sins. Guys, the spirit and flesh are going to continue to wage war against each other in this present time and one day when the lord comes back and we are in glory with him that will not happen anymore and we won't need to repent but until that day yes people still need to repent of their sins number three it reduces the importance of good works this doctrine tells people and basically downplays the good works in the faith so as we can see, Isaiah is saying that this uh, belief of eternal security reduces this desire to do good works. He couldn't be more wrong in this, guys. When we are born again believers and we have been saved and we have the Holy Spirit indwelling in us, guys, we want to do good works. The things that we once hated, we now love. And the things we once loved, we now hate. So again, this is another error that Isaiah Saldivar is making. This is another claim that he is making against people who hold to this doctrine that is just completely wrong. Which no, which leads me to number four. It ignores the need for ongoing obedience. It ignores that need. The doctrine says, you know, you just do, get saved and you don't need to continue to obey God's commands. God's commands are ongoing. God will speak to us through his word, through the Holy Spirit, and will basically tell us continual things we need to do. And again, once saved, always saved ignores that need for ongoing obedience. Isaiah Saldivar is saying that those who hold to this say that the need for ongoing obedience is no longer there. Again, guys, no, when we are born again and have the Holy Spirit inside of us, we are going to go and obey the Lord and his commands and his word to bring glory and honor to him. Isaiah Saldivar, I don't know where he's getting this information from, but he is completely wrong and it's dangerous that he's making this call out because he's putting people like myself who do hold to eternal security, who do hold to once saved, always saved in this box that we don't actually believe in. This is dangerous. Okay, danger number five, it downplays the role of grace. Now, some of you would say, no, this makes grace even more important because it's only by grace we're saved, which is true. It is only by grace we're saved. However, the Bible teaches grace also empowers us to overcome sin and continue in the faith. This does not downplay grace. This belief that those who hold to eternal security know, in fact, we really cherish the grace that we have been given because it is undeserving. 
we do not deserve to be saved, yet God, through his grace and mercy, has saved us. This makes us rejoice in that grace because we don't deserve it. Number six, it belittles the importance of perseverance. The one saved, always saved can make people think that perseverance in faith is unnecessary. Why would I need to persevere if I can't lose my salvation? There's no reason to keep persevering and keep pressing forward and walking God's commandments. We do not belittle the importance of perseverance. Again, this is a false narrative, a false teaching on Isaiah's part. This is not what those who hold to eternal security believe in. And guys, let's be clear. If you do hold to eternal security and you think you can just abuse God's grace and you don't have to do anything and all that, and you just can live however you want, that is not the heart of a true believer. You are not born again. It belittles the importance of spiritual growth. They Basically, the doctrine says spiritual growth is not necessary. Again, guys, he's wrong. Um, this is not what these who hold to this doctrine believe in. Guys, we need to be clear here. Isaiah Saldivar is in very dangerous error here making this call out and making it seem like those who hold to eternal security believe this. Isaiah Saldivar actually pointed out in this video was of somebody who's not born again, somebody who does not believe truly in Jesus Christ and does not have the Holy Spirit inside of them. This is the call out Isaiah Saldivar made, but instead he put a sticker on it that said, those who believe in eternal security, once saved, always saved, this is what they believe. And he is wrong. It needs to be called out for that foolishness. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the BTT Ministry YouTube channel, as well as drop a like, leave a comment down below. I would love to know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, you might like this one over here.